Sydney by day, a thriving metropolis of commercialism. The streets are choked with traffic. The footpaths are a chaotic river of business suits. As the last rays of sunlight fade, a subculture creeps from the shadows of the night. They have come to be known as Gothics. identify me with um, a gothic subculture, um, which is true for the music I listen to and like some of my beliefs and my morals but, um, and some of the things I do. But I believe that there is still a gothic subculture because like, I think it died out. I always, I always really thought that gothic people were nocturnal and ate raw meat. No, seriously, I thought that's what they, I, just, I mean, that's what I think they really are. They're dressed in black, the whiter than white pallor. A lot of people sort of say, I mean, you know, you got the gothic sort of, um, you know, they only take drugs and blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, I mean, sure, I've, I've had some drugs, but, I mean, I don't, don't regularly use drugs and, or well, I don't really use drugs and, I mean, I don't drink and I don't smoke and live a pretty happy life, life really. The thinking was more of a depressive or, um, just a, a really sort of black type of thinking which is um, nothing too positive and just um, focusing on yourself and your problems and um, I guess a lot of reading was involved too. People in the gothic um, subculture have different roles to the norm and that's why they're different because um, they like like religion, like Catholics have, um, oh, you can't have sex before marriage, blah, 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 but Gothics are more, I don't care, like anarchists. The centre of Gothic subculture on a Saturday night is Sanctuary, a Sydney nightclub, which any other day of the week is the less assuming Jungle Bar. On Saturday afternoons, this tacky bar is transformed into a sanctuary for the Gothic subculture. By the time staff are finished, the bar is almost unrecognisable. As the bar starts to assume a new image, so too do the patrons. She may be the maid of city, the city. Ah! It's a, um, it's a place, a safe place um, for either animals or it's inside a church and we thought it was a very good name for that. It's a safe place for people to come. We sort of relate back to what I said beforehand. Either. Because they look differently, they get harassed outside, so therefore sanctuary is somewhere where they can come and be themselves and they're not going to be harassed. Um, we don't let anybody in that's, say, intimidating physically or, you know, that they're very quiet, unassuming kind of group of people, very polite. Um, people's initial reaction is, ah, you know, look at them, but they're, they're a great bunch of people. I mean, you know, it's really easy to run a club and um, 
there's no major harassment on the door. They're all really polite. They come in, you know, and they, they have a good time. It's like the, the gothic hangout on a Sunday night. Yeah. The, um, the nightclub for the goths to go, that's the ultimate place sort of thing. Yeah, well, the only reason I come here is because I like the music. Um, I want some more obscure stuff, and they play like Cure and Sisters and stuff like that, which is what I like. <laughs> because of the music, because of the people. You go there and, and um, Small like, range of people. yeah, uh, they got, um, like, sort of, uh, like, sheets hanging from the ceiling and, um, like, it's really done up to suit the sort of gothic culture and gothic style, sort of, which is really good because then you sort of feel more at home or feel more relaxed and sort of more in place. It's very dark. It's really dark. Yeah. It's really dark. Yeah. Culture. Like, the music is the culture. It's 5am, the music is finished. Fluorescent lights drive the patrons of Sanctuary back into the shadows. The culture sleeps until the sun sets again. Thank you. 